Good evening, this is Views Updates from PMTV. I am Norma Obona. Communal clash between Nko and Onyadama communities. It is no longer news that the Nko and Onyadama communities in Cross River State have been fighting over a piece of land for some years now. Their fight has led to unrest in both communities and the blocking of the federal highway in the area, thereby stopping commuters from moving freely without fear. Being the arm of the country's military, which is in charge of maintaining decorum on land, the Nigerian army, through their units, 245 Battalion, interfered to make peace in the communities. From a source, the people of Nko had shot a man on the 9th of February 2022, and the fight escalated at the point that the Nigerian army dispatched its troops to calm the situation. On the 14th of March 2022, the 205 Battalion, under the leadership of their commanding officer, Colonel M. M. Sani, called both communities to seek a way to restore peace to their land. This meeting was held at the battalion's officers' mess and was attended by the clan heads of Nko and Unyadama, the DPO of Yako, the DPO of Ikom, DSS Ikom, and the chairman of Yako, Ikom, and Obubura local government areas, amongst others. On the 6th of May 2022, the Nko and Unyadama crisis broke out again. This time, an Unyadama man was found inside the bush beheaded. The Nigerian army again called for a meeting, which this time held at Inyaman, the border village of Unko and Onyadama villages on the 30th of May 2022. In this meeting, the military personnel tried to push peace into the minds of the community's representatives. According to the battalion's adjutant, Captain A. Jubrila, the Nigerian army had spoke extensively to them on why the aimless and violent killings would bring neither of the communities what they sought, rather they should embrace peace and live amicably. On the 15th of June, the Nigerian army invited both communities to their units and the 245 battalion again to strengthen their peace talk and this time traditional clan heads of Nko and Onyadama the local government chairman of Yako and Obubra, the youth leaders of Nko, Obubra, Onyadara and Inyama, with members of the Nigerian army, agreed to a peace treaty. Another meeting was also scheduled at the officers' mess of 245 Battalion on the 22nd of June 2022 to celebrate and further foster the truce between the both communities but the Obon Olup of Ugep and the clan head of Unko had reached out to the 245 Battalion headquarters seeking absenteeism from the meeting for reasons best known to them. Sadly, on the 25th of June 2022, after the peace talk, both communities engaged in yet another clash which this time involved the harassment of road commuters and the use of locally made arms on ordinary passerbys. As usual, the Nigerian army dispatched troops to restore calm to the communities involved. As gathered from one of the officers sent to restore calm to the communities, Captain Agoke Olakunle Rogers, the troops sent did not aim or shoot at anyone but had only asked the members of Onyadama community to go into their homes in order to enforce a curfew of which the members of Onyadama complied to. On getting to Unko with the same goal in mind, the troop, which this time was led by the commanding officer and some officers and some soldiers, met a mob who disagreed and protested vehemently against the peace talk the military personnel were trying to make. In the process of imposing the curfew, as done in Onyadema earlier, the youth of Unko from a concealed position opened fire on the army. Unfortunately, several members of the Nigerian army were shot multiple times. This includes the commanding officer and five other soldiers. However, the Nigerian army since this incident have dispatched more troops to guard and maintain peace in both Nko and Onyadama in order to keep the citizens of Nigeria at large safe. TV. I am.
normal or bona.